What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome here if you are new. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. In today's video, we will be exchanging all of the smaller bills in my cash envelopes for larger bills. That includes my um, sinking funds binder, my variable cash envelope binder, which is right here. You may be familiar with it if you watch my videos, as well as I have a lot of bills in my March Madness savings challenge that I would like to exchange as well. I will be continuing the savings challenge into the month of April to see how much I can save. Um, so that is why I want to exchange the bills in here as well. I do have a lot of money set aside ready to go for the bill exchange. So without further ado, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so first and foremost, I did want to mention that we will be getting rid of some envelopes today. So we will take the money out of those envelopes and put it back to the bank. There are some envelopes I noticed that I'm not really stuffing and so therefore I just feel like I don't really need to keep those envelopes around. They're obviously not a priority right now. They may be in the future and I can always bring those envelopes back. So. Um, let's go over that really quick here. As you can see, car maintenance will be removed from my variable cash envelope binder. I do have about $85 in that envelope and I'm actually going to disperse that money because I notice I have not used any of this money in a very long time. So I don't feel that I need this envelope. I do have a truck maintenance envelope that I will keep. So moving forward from the sinking funds binder, the envelopes we will be removing are internet, electronics, P.O. box, and school. P.O. box only has $5 and school only has $10 and these have not got stuffed since months now. So I'm not going to bother continuing trying to stuff them since they're obviously not a priority right now. Like I said, I will always bring them back if I make it a priority. Electronics hasn't been stuffed in a while as well. I do not need any new electronics for the time being, therefore I don't feel it necessary to keep this envelope. And lastly, internet is actually a fully funded envelope. So this money is actually going to be going back to the bank so that I can um, pay for internet. So with all that being said, you guys, we're gonna start off by removing those envelopes first. And then we're going to move on to exchanging the bills. All right, you guys. So as I mentioned, we will be removing car maintenance from the variable cash envelope binder, which is this one. So let's go ahead and go to car maintenance here, which is right here. Let's go ahead and take the money out. We have 20, 40, 60, 85. So we have $85 in car maintenance. I'm going to set this to the side here until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this envelope okay so now moving on to my sinking funds binder right here we will be removing a couple from here as well so this one will have four envelopes removed the first being internet like i said this is a fully funded envelope i was funding this envelope since i think maybe five months ago or so. So we do have the 300 goal that I wanted to reach. So this money will be going to the bank. So I do not need this envelope anymore, you guys. I'm so happy with that. So we're gonna remove that. After internet, let's go to electronics. Okay, here's electronics. I do wanna keep this envelope around, you guys. Obviously, if I do want to get a new phone or some type of new device, I will bring this envelope back so we're gonna take the money out of this. It was just $20. Like I said, I haven't funded it in a very long time. So we're moving this one. And the next two are PO Box and School. So if we come back here, we have PO Box and School. PO Box just has $5 and School just has $10. So I really don't need these envelopes, you guys. Like I said, they're not a priority. I do love these envelopes. So I'm going to reuse them and just remove the labels and um, put them back in here. So I probably won't do that in this video, but I will get around to doing it. So you will be seeing that in my future videos. All right, you guys, so I just wanna go over really quick how much money we pulled out. So let me separate this. Okay. So from those envelopes, those five envelopes, we pulled out 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 20. So we put out $420 from those 
five envelopes. You guys, that's actually kind of crazy. Um, you would never guess that you would have money dispersed like that amongst envelopes, but that is the beauty of sinking funds and how the money adds up little by little. So now that we did all of that, let's go ahead and get started with actually exchanging the bills. Alrighty, you guys, so here is all the money that we will be using to exchange. So these are the bigger bills. As you can see here at the end, I have these little pieces of paper that I wrote $1,000 on. They are going to be the placeholders for the $1,000 amounts in my cash envelopes for now. You guys, I totally forgot to order the $1,000 placeholder. I know I mentioned it in my uh, most two recent videos, but I totally forgot. So since I still wanted to do this video, I decided to just make a fake one for now out of paper. And then as soon as I um, receive those bills, I will replace them. So for today, we're going to pretend that this is $1,000. Do not judge them, you guys, okay? Don't hurt their feelings. They know that they look a little shabby. We're not gonna talk about it, okay? So, moving on, you guys. Let's go ahead and see how much we have here. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So I have $1,000 in $100 bills, 100. Let's put this to the side. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. So 1,450, 70. So 1,470 dollars, you guys, is what we have to work with today. Um, and then at the end of the video, we'll actually go over how much money we were able to exchange. So that is what we're gonna go ahead and do now. Alrighty, you guys, so let's go ahead and start off with this binder. This is the sinking fund binder. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with pets, you guys. Let's count how much we have. We have 120, 30, 35, so 135 dollars. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out two of these fives for a $10 bill. I do have some um, tens here to the side just in case I needed, and sure enough, I did need. So we're gonna just switch out these here and just add in a 10. Whoops, I did that wrong. Okay, there we go. All right, so we now have 120, 35, just like we should have. So we did that right. It is very weird that the internet envelope is now gone because it was always right here. So that's always a good thing, you guys. But yes, it is a little weird. All right, moving on to vacation, you guys. In vacation, we have 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. Holy crap, you guys, $95, that was a lot of ones. So let's go ahead and start here. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Right, so that's 20 singles. Let's go ahead and add in 120 here. And then we can just do 10, 15, 20. So we'll get rid of that as well. Okay, and add in another 20. So our balance is 50, 70, 95, right? So $95 still in vacation. That slimmed down quite a bit, so that's great. All right. Moving on to Christmas. I have not stuffed this in a while, so let's see what we can do here or if we need to do anything. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so let's go ahead and do a $100 bill and a $5 bill for this one. Take a five from here and let me grab a $100 bill. Or let me use two 50s, right, you guys? Yeah, two 50s. Okay, so we have two 50s and a five is 105 for Christmas. Not bad, you guys, not bad. All right, moving on to teeth. I'm pretty sure this envelope can slim down quite a bit. I think this envelope is pretty bad and the envelope um, for house payment in my other binder, which we will do as well, that envelope is so bad, you guys. So we'll get to that. So we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500. So that's 500 right there. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 90, 600, and then we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 620 dollars, you guys, in this envelope. So we're gonna keep the 100s, obviously. So drop those to the side. 
Let's do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 90, 95, 100. Okay, hopefully I did that right, you guys. I think I did. And then these four fives will do a 20. So let's throw in a 20. Let's see if we did that right. One, two, three, four, five, six hundred, twenty. Perfect, you guys. So I know that I literally could have just exchanged everything and just said, okay, 620, but I want to go and show you guys how I'm doing it, which is why I counted it the way that I did. So $620 for teeth, you guys. That is perfect. I'm really happy about that. All right, moving on to taxes. What do we have in taxes? We have 10, 15, 20, 25. So we're going to keep a five and use a 20, which keeps our balance at 25. All right. And let's check card tags here. We have singles in this one. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I'm just going to do um, a 10 and a 5 to keep it at 15. All right. So there we go. And that is actually going to be it for this binder, you guys. It slimmed down quite a bit. That is always very exciting. It was a lot thicker. Uh, because of the teeth envelope. So now that we're done with this binder, let's go ahead and move on to my variable cash envelope binder. Okay, you guys, so this is the mother load. As you can see, one of the envelopes here is literally about to blow. Like this zipper is gonna pop any minute. This is such a thick envelope. There's a lot of money in here. And this is also why I'm going to be using the $1,000 placeholders is just because I don't really feel comfortable with having this amount of money cash in my house. So I do have a safe. I stay strapped. Don't worry. But, you know, nonetheless, I feel like this money should not just be laying around in the case that something happens like a fire. Imagine losing that amount of money. That really sucks, you guys. So just want to make sure that my money is safe. So let's start with household here. We have 100, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're going to drop all of this to the side and put a 20 back, which keeps our balance at $120 for household. Okay, what you guys have been waiting for. So many people have been commenting on my previous videos that they can't wait to see this envelope get exchanged because you guys, look how much is in this envelope. Like, I can't believe that just a moment of silence for this envelope look how stretched this envelope is you can literally see the outline of where the money used to be that's crazy i never really paid attention to how much money was in here but it's quite a bit so let's go ahead and do this now let me separate these in two stacks so i can hold them better one two three four five which is 100 one two three four two one, two, three, four, three. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four, five. That's 500. One, two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four, seven. One, two, three, four, eight. So that's 800 right there, you guys. One, two, three, four, nine. One, two, three, four, ten. So right here, you guys, is $1,000 in all 20s okay then we have 10 20 30 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 so as you can see you guys we have a thousand fifty dollars here um and that is exactly why i need to exchange these bills so a thousand fifty we're literally going to take all of this you guys and put it here and grab the $1,000 placeholder and a 50. And there you go, you guys, just two bills for this envelope. All right, so that is it. This envelope is so stretched, you guys, that's so funny. But that's a lot of money we just took out of there, so. There you go, you guys. I know a lot of you have been waiting to see just that single envelope, so. All right, moving on, birthdays and holidays. 20, 
30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So let's do a 10. If I can find one, there we go, a 10. And we'll keep a five. All right, so we still have 20, 30, and five. All right, you guys. There we go. My envelope is pretty, oh my God, this thing's flying everywhere. My envelope is pretty thick too, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We have 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So $75, you guys, in my envelope. Let's see all right so let me explain really quick why i keep a lot of fives in here and just singles i get my nails done and i tip so that's why i usually keep this with the smaller uh denominations but as you can see we clearly don't need this many so so let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so let's put all this to the side and actually use a twenty 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, 20. And there's another 20. And then I'm going to keep these like this so that I can have this money to tip with, if that makes sense. Okay, you guys? So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. Okay. So there you go. After this envelope, we have truck maintenance here. All right, we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So we have 265. So I'm gonna take out these 50s actually because I could use these elsewhere. And we're gonna do $200 bills here okay so that's the 200 and then we have 20 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 all right so let's bring a 50 back here and then i'm just going to switch out these two fives for a 10 when i literally just saw one somewhere here it's somewhere here right here So there we go. Okay, so now we have 100, 250, 65. Okay, you guys, perfect. We have $265 for truck maintenance. Okay, moving on to business here. I have not stuffed this envelope in a minute either, so let's see. 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we're just gonna do two 20s for this envelope to make it the 40. Okay, so there we go, two 40s. Oh my God, these bills. Okay. And lastly, let's move to YouTube. I believe it's just $30 in here. Yeah, so it's just 30, so we can't really exchange that. So we're gonna leave that as is, you guys. So there you go. I can't believe this envelope was so thick. I'm still mind blown, so. Look at all the air in these envelopes, you guys, because it was so thick. That is so funny. Okay, so now that we exchanged our variable cash envelopes, our sinking funds, I want to exchange the bills that are in my March Madness Savings Challenge, which I have right here. So I do not know how much money we have in here. Um, so let's go ahead and actually count that first and then we'll exchange the bills. So this is kind of like the update. We did do the four weeks. So this is the update of the four weeks, although we will still be continuing this challenge into April. So let me separate all of this first because I know that they're not in order. Ugh. There's a lot of ones, you guys, my goodness. Okay, this is why I wanted to exchange it is because I know it was a mess. Okay, there we go. So. Let's see here. 
So for the March Madness, you guys, we were able to save a total of 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 130, 140, 141, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Holy crap, you guys. That's not bad at all. So $160, that's totally cool with me, you guys. $160 I was able to save here. Keep in mind, I also do the one five and $10 challenge for money that I get back as cash back. So we will be doing that one as well. So considering that I do about two to three challenges in a month, saving 160 for this challenge is not bad at all, you guys. So we're gonna switch out these bills. I kinda wanna do all 20s for this envelope. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, and it's a total of 160. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put all this to the side. So as you can see here, that slimmed down a lot. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. All right. Perfect. So we're going to put the 160 back in here so that we can continue the challenge into April. All right. And that is actually it, you guys. So let's go ahead and go over what we took out of the cash envelopes and the savings challenge. And this is what it looks like. Okay, this might be the most I ever took out. Holy crap. To think that more than half of this stack was in those cash envelopes, that is crazy. So this is a stack in all of its glory. It's pretty heavy, you guys. That is insane. I do want to go ahead and count this. Oh my goodness, it's falling everywhere. Um, I want to count this on camera to see how much we actually have. So I'm going to go ahead and separate this with you guys. Obviously, this is falling over. Oh my goodness. So yes, let's go ahead and see where we're at with our savings because this is always very interesting i usually don't count it but i'm very curious to see how much money we actually have sitting here in front of us so let me just kind of separate this the best that i can here let me know if you guys do this like monthly or weekly or however often where you go through your cash envelopes and exchange bills as well because i know other people make videos on it um, I love watching those videos, so yeah, I kind of get inspiration from others as well. Please, if you are a budgeter, leave in the comments your channel so that everybody can check you out and support your channel. Um, I really love looking at others' channels as well, so like I said, don't forget to leave a comment with a link to your channel. All right, you guys, we have a lot of ones. I'm kind of mind blown right now. I'm pretty sure this is all 20s here. Yeah, looks like it. This was from the house payment envelope, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, this was totally that envelope, so. Some of these bills are really messed up. Okay. 220s of the year, wow. I've been needing to do this you guys I think that this stack is so big because I didn't do this for the month of February um, I was very busy I had a couple deaths in my family so I only posted three videos for that month and usually I post around 10 to 12 videos in a month so I did not film this video that I usually do every month I didn't film it for February so that's why there's a lot of money sitting in these envelopes had i exchanged it in february this wouldn't be such a large amount but nonetheless it is all right we're almost done you guys this video is already 31 minutes long obviously you guys will see the edited version but i just kind of want to give you an idea of how long this actually takes me to do so just in case you're interested i know some people are all right we're almost done you guys this is going to be a lot to count and I don't want to mess up. Hopefully I don't mess up counting. Okay. So obviously to make this easier on myself, we are going to start with the twenties and then we're going to move down to the tens and the fives. And then lastly, the ones, obviously I have more ones than anything right now, but 
uh, second in place is actually 20s. So I've never had this much 20s for a bill exchange video. So that's, that's always really nice to see the savings growing, you guys. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna split the stack just so I can hold it better and count it easier. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 320, 340, 360, 380, 400, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500. So right here is $500 in the 20s, you guys. It's 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600. Okay, so that's 600. 20, 40, 60, 80, 700. 20, 40, 60, 80, 800. 20, 40, 60, 80, 900. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. Okay, so this is $1,000 right here, you guys. I'm gonna put it this way so we don't get confused. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So that's 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400. So 1,400, I kinda wanna write this down so I do not forget, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna use this, so 1,400, okay. Just in case I mess up, so that's 1,400. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, so now we are at 1,500. Let me go ahead and update that on this little sheet of paper. 1,005, okay. Moving on, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let me go ahead and count that again really quick just to make sure. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Yep. So we're now at 1,600, you guys. So let me update that. 1,600. And then we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Okay, so this is 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So we're now at 1,700. Let me go ahead and write that down so I don't mess up. Okay. And then the remainder of these ones here, let's see what they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. You guys, so the bills that we were able to exchange from the variable cash envelopes, the sinking fund envelopes, and the March Madness Savings Challenge was $1,730. This right here is $1,730. There you go, you guys. This is what it looks like. Okay, so that is it, all of its glory. That is absolutely crazy. I always am mind blown every time I do these videos. I haven't done it in a while, which is why this is quite a bit of money, you guys. Obviously, you can see, like I mentioned, I didn't do it for February, so that is why this is a lot of money. It's probably never going to be this large of an amount again, with all that being said, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. 
this was such a long video let me quickly tell you how long it is oh my gosh you guys we are almost at 40 minutes we're at 38 minutes and 30 seconds so Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. If you guys do watch my videos and watch my ads, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. I am really trying hard to make that first paycheck from YouTube. So please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. Share this video with anybody who also likes budgeting and these types of bill exchange videos. Comment down below. And don't forget to turn on your bell notifications so that you guys can get notified every time I upload. And lastly, if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing so that you guys can stay tuned for my future videos as well. With all that being said, thank you once again for joining me for today's video. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world. And I will be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.